and the controversy surrounding the transit cargo from the port of Mombasa to Naivasha has intensified after the Dock Workers Union and other stakeholders in the transport sector threatened to paralyze operations in Mombasa following what they termed as a deliberate move by the national government to kill the economy of the coast region. Dock Workers Union Secretary General Simon Sang now wants the coast parliamentary group to declare its stand on the SGR transit cargo directive. So surprised ya kwamba wabunge wa Pwani wamekaa kando sana na rasilimali zao. Na sisi tunajiuliza ni nini watatuambia uh, when it comes to 2022? Watatuambia wametufanyia kazi gani? So tunasema kwamba mbunge yote ambaye awezi kuungana na sisi na kuungana na constituents kwa kulinda mali zao au mali zetu then tunawahakisha kwamba 2022 hawataona bunge tena. Kwa sababu bunge ni mahali ya kipekee mahali ambapo mali zetu zinaweza kulindwa against uporaji na tunasema kwamba we are putting them on notice ya kwamba they must come together so we are asking all members of parliament through their coast parliamentary group come together uh, see what 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 ali is uh, is proposing in parliament because that is the only uh, avenue where our uh, our resources can be protected jobs are being created to the mbasa people they are talking about Nongokundu Special Economic Zone. What I'm asking Mr. Macharia, if these jobs are really there, why couldn't they start with the Nongokundu project so that the coastals could get jobs other than destroying the jobs that we have and telling us that we shall get jobs from Nongokundu? So these are white lies. We are registering our discomfort to Mr. Macharia. We don't need him. He has made coastal and the Mbaza residents to lose jobs. So what we are asking, we shall initiate, and already the progress is the, the progress on, of removing, of impeaching Mr. Macharia. So the, the, the House standing orders and the relevant notices that have been issued to the House